I, I gotta, I'm running late for work the other day, like normal. And I gotta get in the bathroom, you know, I got, I gotta throw some dippity doo in my hair. You know, this is like an everyday thing. My hair, my hair's falling out, guys. I, I'm comb over at this point. I'm bringing it back. I'm bringing back the greased up comb over. Yeah, I'm telling you right now. Anyway, my wife's in the bathroom taking a shit. Uh, I got to get in there. I got news for you right now. My wife, she'll go to the bathroom and take like a, a, a shit only a truck driver could love. And leave the door open while she's doing it. Have you ever heard of anything so horrendous in your life? My mother used to did, go, go into the bathroom and I don't know, unload a truck. And then she'd come out and it was like there were flowers bursting from the toilet. Do you understand? My mother never shitted up the toilet in her life. And I don't, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. So I go in there and I'm like, oh, it's like the smell hits you. It's like, oh, this is great. Let's have sex. Hey, what? I can't wait to get home from work so we can have sex now. It smells like, uh, I don't know, the bathrooms at, at Jones Beach. And the Bronx Zoo put together. <sighs> anyway, I go in there and I, my mission is just to get out of there as fast as possible. I grab the dental flask. All right. I, I grab the box. I do one of these. <laughs> She's like, why are you taking so much dental floors? I'm like, I'm one, I'm going to work. All right, what are you talking to me about right now? Why are we even talking? It's, it's dental floss, okay? I got a uh, new slash, it's like a dollar a box. Oh yeah, you can buy them in packs of like, I don't know, six for like $2.99. What's the problem? This about, you can go wrap this dental floss around the earth about three times before the, you empty the fucking box. You ever notice that? About, it's like, when's this dental floss ever gonna end? The box is from 1972. I'm sick and tired of, of arguing about the usage of paper towels and dental floss. I don't have, I don't have, we don't, we were talking to income family. Listen, I got to take a big piece of dental floss. I got to wrap like I wrap like this until it's about an inch long. That way I have the grip. One of my biggest uh, pet peeves in life is when you pay, take a piece of dental floss and it's too short and it's slipping off your fingers. You're like, ah, 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 I don't want to be doing this anyway. I think it's ridiculous flossing your teeth. You're getting rid of valuable tartar. To me, tartar is like, it's like a, a suit of armor for the teeth. I don't know why we're trying to eliminate it. Okay, it doesn't look the best. All right? That's one thing. But anyway, now we're arguing about dental floss. That's great. That's great. It's like, here, here's a quarter. Go buy another, uh, a t another 10 pack of it. Don't bother me. I get I get home from work. Now, my, my plan was to come out here and get some work done. Because I... Well, that's always my plan. We gotta go order the refrigerator and get the car inspected. Uh, I'm like, uh, uh, what, what car inspected for what? In this co this the bet the greatest thing about this COVID hitting town is the cars that haven't been inspected in years now. I'm th it's great, it's great. I got a check engine light on. She's got a muffler falling out of the car. The brakes are on fire when when she steps on the brake. I said, there's no way she's gonna pass inspection. She already failed once. 
I can wring the mechanic's neck. She takes it to the mechanic. Uh, it needs... Uh, we well, already talked about this. So, we don't have a refrigerator yet because, uh, well, the refrigerator that we want is on back order for three months. And, na and naturally, we have to have that one. So we held out because we thought another store was going to get it in. They didn't get it in. So this is this is four months now without a refrigerator. Yes. Using the refrigerator downstairs. Oh, yeah. You got to see my quadriceps from going up and down the stairs. What do we need? Ketchup? Oh, right. Dum, 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 down the stairs. Back up. I forgot what. Oh, the mayonnaise. Yes. Okay. Dum, 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 back up. What? Salad dressing? Yo, sure. I'll get it. I can't take it anymore. I got legs like Herschel Walker. So now I'm like, okay, well, my day went from doing something creative out here to uh, setting myself up for two fails. Let's go. So we take both cars. Where are we going, I tell her? Pep Boys. I said, okay, which one? The one in Lindenhurst? Yeah, the one in Lindenhurst. All right, I'll meet you there. I go to the one on Sunrise Highway. Apparently, they opened up a new one on Montauk Highway. Unbeknownst to me! I didn't know. So I drive all the way up to Sunrise Highway. I'm sitting at the Pep Boys. I'm like, where is she? What happened? I, I have a little piece of information for you. We take separate cars all the time. Just because, I don't know, of my nutty work schedule. Because a lot of times, like, she'll go to her mother's house. I'll, I'll go there for dinner, too. And then I got to bail early. So we'll take separate cars. And, of course, the boy always hops in with her. Because that's where the comfortable car seat is. I don't know. Mine is, m mine is like a... a it's like a top fuel dragster car seat. It's like made out of fiberglass with no padding. Anyhow, we got we got a cheap, you know, maybe at a yard sale. Anyhow, there's one thing I don't do. She takes off like a, like a stick of dynamite. I never follow my wife in the car. You understand? I always wait. I sit there. I, I put on a I put on a uh, a fucking podcast. I always wait till they're out of sight because I got news for you right now. The last thing I need to see is like, this is like my biggest nightmare. Like I'm driving behind my wife and they get hit by like a tractor trailer. And I just see my son go careening through the window, like with his head smashed. I'm just saying. I, and I sit there and that, this is what I think about. This is what I think about in my life. Like I, can I live a normal life? And I said, I said, on this planet Earth, with all these people, you know there's been a guy who was following his wife somewhere to get the car fixed, and she got hit by a car and, her, you know, and got annihilated. And the guy was just sitting there, like, watching his whole family die in front of him. Uh, okay. Anyway, I'm like, I'm, that's not going to be me. That's not going to be me. It's like when I use a knife in the house. Sometimes, I, you know, I'm washing the dishes and I take the knife and I go and I, I start walking like this. I'm like, oh, let me go put the knife away. That's when you turn around and you cut your son's throat by accident. This happens all the time. I, I, it hasn't happened recently, but I remember reading about it in the 1980s newspapers. It, well, I didn't read about it. My father would say, or my mother would say, isn't that terrible? You gotta love, you gotta love mothers. They love, they, they, they're like the most innocent people alive. And then they'll tell you a news story. Isn't this horrible? A man turned around with a knife and sliced his son's head off. Yeah, and his body flopped onto the floor and all of uh, his central nervous system poured out onto the kitchen floor. Yes, yes. His entire endocrine system fell out in front of everybody. And it was, and it was Christmas night. Yeah. Isn't that terrible? And you're like this. Yeah, mom. Yeah, it's terrible. 
Jesus Christ. You have any more fucking stories for us? Isn't that terrible? A little boy drowned in a swimming pool. Yeah. Isn't that terrible? Yeah, they found him. They found him like hours later. His body was bloated. Oh, yeah. Blue and bloated. Yeah, and his head exploded, by the way, from the uh, chlorine ingestion. Isn't that terrible? Like, uh... Yeah, ma. Got a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Now? Oh, sure, I'll make you a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> Mom's always good for a sandwich. You know? Oh, my God. Ugh. Where's my mommy? I want my mommy back. Christ almighty. Anyhow. So what are these guys that call out mommy when they get hurt? You ever hear about this thing? This type of thing? I don't know about that, but I remember when Jude Algieri got hit in the chest with a soccer ball. Somebody kicked, like, I don't know, uh, a fucking uh, a Madonna. Wait, who's, who's the guy? Who's the fucking hand of God guy? Somebody kicked a fucking Pele kick into, into Jude Algieri's chest. He hit the floor and started convulsing. You remember this in school when somebody would get the, the wind knocked out of him? And he went, and he gri he's on the floor and he grabbed his chest and he went, I'm going into cardiac arrest. <laughs> you couldn't help but laugh. You couldn't help but laugh. Imagine that. You think you're going into cardiac arrest and everybody bursts out laughing. Oh, it was hilarious. And then you'd hear it in the hallways. <laughs> you'd be in class with Jude and somebody would be in the hallway. I'm going into cardiac arrest. And then the whole class would erupt. And then, and then Dumbo teacher doesn't get it. You know, it's always the, it's always the English teacher. She's like, what? What's so funny? <laughs> she wants to be part of the joke. No, dummy, you're not part of the joke. You're the asshole teacher. Anyhow. My nose is running. It's, it, we're in April. Uh, anyhow. So I'm at a different pet boys now. Now she's yelling at me on the phone. What's wrong with you? This, that, the other thing. I said, I didn't even know there was another pet boy. I, I am. We, I, I said, go, go get the car inspected. I'll be there in a second. What's the big deal? I got to be there? Anyhow. We get the car inspected. The guy's like, we need an hour. I said, fine, we're out of here. We go down to Plessis, walk into Plessis, sit down, talk to the salesperson. We got your refrigerator. We could have it to you by Thursday. I said, are you kidding me? In two days. In two days. I thought I was going to have a bonus split through the front of my pants. I couldn't believe what an easy transaction it was. And I'm like, the guy, I'm, I'm sitting there, I'm like, you know, Preparing my wife, I said, "Remember, the guy told us twenty six hundred. So, we, we, you know, if never mind what this fucko says, twenty six hundred was the price." So we sit down. They're like, "Yeah, we can have it by. We can have it delivered to your house by Thursday. We take the old refrigerator out, twenty six hundred." I said, "What?" She said, "Yeah, you want to do it cash or credit?" I, I handed him. I handed her a credit card. Next thing you know, we were walking out the door. We have a refrigerator coming. I was like, oh, oh, my God. I said, this is impossible. This is impossible. By the way, we pull up to Plessis, and there's a bunch of skateboard kids. And, like, I, this is how I know I'm getting old. I have a complete disdain for young people now. There's a bunch of skateboard kids and, and kids on their bikes in front. They're like in front of a, there's a restaurant there and they got tables set up and there's a spa and a restaurant and they're doing like tricks with this, with their skateboards. And I'm sitting there and I got news for you right now. I used to ride my skateboard, my bike, all this type of bullshit. I was like, I used to be one of those kids and I have absolutely no understanding. I'm like, this is a business establishment. Why are they riding their skateboards over here? I'm becoming an old piece of shit. 
That's all I could think to myself. And they're cursing. Like, ah, oh, you know, hey, fuck this, and hey, fuck, and this, and that. And I'm like, I have my son here. My son is here. I'm like, this is how I get the windows broken on my car. I felt like that that person on the block that doesn't want to go up against the gang members because he knows there'll be retaliation. I won't even step up to these 14-year-old kids. They're cursing. My son's like, Dada, they're saying bad words. I'm like, be quiet. Just be quiet. I don't want any trouble here. I can picture myself just saying something, and the next thing you know, there's like a, a Shea Stadium wave of skateboards hitting me over the head. That's what I need. Yeah. And I'm in a, I'm in a wheelchair. Like Chuck Austin. Yeah. Remember Chuck Austin, the jobber that got paralyzed by the rockers? Oh, you don't remember this? This is down in Florida. You have no idea what wrestling used to be like. You could be a jobber, like a guy off the street that might be like in good shape, and go into, like a wrestling's coming to your town. You could go into the arena and say, hey, listen, I want to sign up to, you know, I, I'm a wrestler. I want to sign up to fight, you know, uh, I, I don't know, demolition. And they'd be like, oh, yeah? The, the guy'd be sitting there like, you want to fight demolition? All right, sign this. They give you a waiver, and then you get into the ring with two steroided animals that are tearing you to pieces. Yeah. So Ch Chuck Austin gets in the ring with the Rockers. This is horrifying, by the way. And what was the guy's name? The, the Rocker starts with a G. He gives him one of the most horrendous finishing moves of all time. I don't know if you're familiar with the Rocker Dropper. <laughs> It's basically when the guy puts his he puts his leg around the back of your head and then slams your head into the mat. Yeah, a la almost like a DDT, uh, but not really. It's a vicious move. Imagine a pile driver. Okay. Anyway, Chuck at, Chuck Austin goes into the mat head first, paralyzed from the neck down. Life can be so cruel. I, you never saw anything like, I can't even imagine. It's like the saddest story in the world. Now he's in a wheelchair, he's like, hey, hey, can you clean that up? Chuck, does your dick work still? That's all I wanted to know. Please tell me that your, your dick still works. Please. Oh, he got like 26 million. The funny thing is, and then and then the guy from the Rockers felt so guilty he was sending his kids toys because his father's in the hospital for Christmas. And Vince McMahon is like, hey, or wrestling and WWF in general is like, hey, you got to stop sending him toys. And he's like, why? He goes, because it makes us look guilty. It's not good for the court case. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Life's a cold hearted motherfucker. Let me tell you right now. Anyhow. Sorry, Chuck. But we got a fridge. We got a fridge. That's the important part. <sighs> yeah, so I got all these kids out there, and I'm just like, can't, can't they all go home? You can't skate. I felt like saying, you can't skate over here. This is a business establishment. You understand these people had to pay for the furniture out here? And you're skating around? Skating should be illegal. Yeah, I'm the old fucker now. Yeah, I I, I went to Chipotle the other day, and the, the, you got this the, the, this mop head kid behind the counter. I said, "All right, here we go. I I might as well just fucking I, I, this just destroyed my burrito right now." And he's like, he's making the he's, he overpacks the burrito, which was great. I was like, "Wow, look, the lazy sack of shit overpacked my burrito." But now he's trying to. He's trying to roll it, and it's just coming apart, and it's just squeezing out all over the place. And he's dragging the tinfoil over the countertop that nobody's wiped down in, like, three years. So th it's getting, like, uh, sour cream all over the package, this type of thing. There's guacamole everywhere. I, it's a mess. And he's rolling it, and I, I can see there's holes in it now. And I'm just like, you know what? I can't even say anything to this kid's dumb as a fucking two, two stumps tied together.
Anyhow, he, he rolls my burrito and he's like, what kind of meat did you get? I'm like, you just put it on, moron. Now I got to do your job? I go, chicken. He's like, oh. I was like, he's got, the, he's got the type of hair that I can grab with two hands and I can launch him right through the window. I don't know. I'm just, I, I, as I'm walking out, I'm like, geez, you just, you're just an angry old man. Angry old man with a comb over. Eh, what are you going to do? We got the goddamn fridge. And then, so, so we're heading back and, uh, I'm like, hey, why don't we stop at the park? You know, we're waiting for the guy, the inspection guys to call us. So why don't we stop at the park on the way, on the way back? We pull into the park there. We get out. It's a nice enough day. We get out. I said, well, let's take a walk around the lake. So we start to walk and they got the big sign, the big sign, you know, all the, uh, indigenous birds of the area. So I'm like, oh, look at this. Maybe we'll, we'll learn about, you know, the, the, uh, the natural history of this park. You know, I've been coming here since I'm a boy. So I'm sitting there looking at the board and it's like, oh, there's the swan and the, and the duck. But, you know, it's like Latin names and this type of thing and what they like to eat. I know what they like to eat. Bread. Bread. They tell you not to feed the ducks. What kind of, what kind of nonsense is this? Don't feed the swans. Don't feed the ducks. But once you go near them, they all come running up to you because somebody's feeding them bread. Oh my God, if I was a duck or a swan, my mission would be just to like rip down that sign all day long. It's like, we came here to eat bread. We, we've been eating bread for years. And now some asshole from college came here. Some, you know, it was some fucking dumb college broad, you know, like uh, she just graduated. And now she's like, this is, uh, this, is, uh, this is not what they're supposed to na eat naturally. Uh, it's causing uh, issues with their... Uh, they're uh, ob obesity in geese. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> so I start reading the, the bird sign there. And uh, naturally I turn around and, and my wife and son have just like, they're halfway around the lake already. Goodbye. Yeah, okay, great. So I got to run to catch up with them. And then there's, there's like a waterfall area where they have a nice like, you know, like, a nice, I don't know how you call it. It's like little waterfalls and nice columns and whatnot. It's real, it's real beautiful. They're redoing it. I said to my wife, I said, they better be, before we get there, I said, they better be redoing it the right way. It better be historically correct. I said, I used to come here when I was, you know, I used to come here with my mother. And she's like, well, what? I said, yeah, they, you know, I want to see the concrete work they're doing here. But now I'm going to do the inspection. Yeah. You could tell the con they're, they're all cast pillars, you know. They couldn't even cut the flashing from the casting around the pillars. So this big, big concrete flashing coming out around the pillar. You know what? It's little things like that. Get out of my country, will you? For Christ's sake. Then we're walking around the lake. And... My son's running now. He's got to run everywhere. And he runs to like the edge of the lake there. And we're walking. You know, I'm like, he'll, he'll catch up or whatnot. And next thing you know, I turn around. And my we see my son. He, could, he couldn't be more than, uh, I don't know, 30 yards away. And he's like this. And me and my wife turn around and we're looking at him. I'm like, what's he doing? And she goes, I think he's 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 lost. And I'm like, lost? I'm like, we're right fucking here. How could he be lost? But he's not, he's not, he's only looking in like two different directions. I'm like, I said, I'm like, our son is retarded. And she goes to, she goes to call him. I, I could see it like this. Like, going, I, I said, no, no, no. I, I got to see how this plays out. So next thing you know, he starts walking in the opposite direction around the lake. 
I'm like, my son, my son is a pedophile's dream come true. Do you understand? I'm like, where is he going? Now he's walking the opposite way around the lake. Now she wants to call him. I said, no, 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 no. This is going to be one of the greatest lessons this kid ever gets in his life. Now he's halfway around the lake. And I can see he's like in a panic looking around. <sighs> this is what I got to deal with. Finally, my wife, she's, she's got to open up a big, a big yap and call him. Then he comes running over, tears coming out of his eyes. He runs right to mommy, hug, and it's like, what am I, a piece of shit? Why, why is it right to mommy? I didn't know where you guys were. Yeah, well, why don't you turn your head more than 90 degrees? How about that? We have this thing, it's called 360 degrees. It exists. You look all the way around and then you'll see mommy and daddy. I'm like, you know what? I can't deal with this shit anymore. I really can't. And then on the other side of the lake, you got the, you got the high school over there and the, the, the girls soccer team is out, you know, The girls' soccer team is out playing soccer. And my son's like, yeah, look at that duck, Dad. And I'm like, oh, yeah, nice duck. Oh, boy, the shorts are getting short on this. On the soccer field, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. And I, and I got my, my, my wife's talking to me, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I feel like Aqualung. Uh, uh, anyway, guys, Callahan here. What do you want me to tell you? What do you want me to tell you? <sighs> Reporting for duty. like that was getting for crimes so we leave the park we get no phone call from the from the inspection place so right away I'm like this is bad news so now we're driving to pet boys and I'm getting like I'm getting the cold sweat down the, the back of my spine I'm like there's no way this car passed inspection there's no way this car passed inspection we pull into the parking lot I see the car there I'm like, oh my God. I said, Lim uh, the only thing I, I was looking for is the windshield to see if there was a sticker on it. We drive up, the fucking thing passed inspection. I couldn't believe it. Oh my God. I was, I was like, pop champagne. We got a refrigerator and an inspection sticker. Pop champagne. That was a good day. That was a good day. Anyway, then I'm talking, I'm talking to this guy at work and he's telling me how he went to the, uh, the happy days dinner. I'm like, oh yeah. I'm like, hey, how was the happy days dinner? He's like, oh, it was good guy. It was good. It's guy. Every time I, it, guy, guy, you ever meet one of these older guys that they call everybody guy. That was my buddy, my buddy, Scott, his father. Hey guy, how you doing guy? Every time I go over there, hey, hey, it, was a, it, was a, it was like a combination of Cliff Clavin and like, I don't know, Guy Guy. Hey, uh, Mr. So-and-so, how are you? Like, uh, I'm, good, I'm good, Guy. What's going on? God damn it, I'm talking. Yeah, he would say, "Guy, hey, 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 guy, there, guy, what's what's going on, Mister So and So? Uh, no, no, nothing, guy. What's up, guy? 
I don't think I ever heard a man say anything other than guy. <sighs> anyway, then this guy, oh, guy. This guy at work. He goes, oh, the, sh the show was good, guy. He goes, oh, he goes, other than the fact that, uh, the original Fonzie wasn't there. They had another guy fill in, like a like a, another guy was uh, Fonzie. I was like, "Oh, what?" He goes, "Yeah, it was kind of weird. The guy came out. He was kind of fat. He had like a big belly. He was taking all, take it, had to take off his jacket, and he's dancing around and whatnot." I'm like, "Oh my God! Can you imagine? There's a second string Fonzie at this show. I mean, what? Well, well, the dire the director was like, "All right, roll call, big show tonight." Where's Fonzie? Oh, uh, he, 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 he didn't show, uh, they found him in his car with the exhaust pipe going through the window. Yeah. He's not gonna, he's dead. And the director's like, oh, that's terrible. Uh, all right, where's Greg? Where's the janitor? I don't know. Where, where's, you know, where's second string Fonzie? That's what, where's, where's second string Fonzie? Oh, Greg? Yeah. Uh, he's in the broom closet. He overdosed on fentanyl. He's foaming at the mouth. The director's like, quick, let's get him. They open the door. Greg, well, we're do we're you we need you tonight. Psh, psh, wake up. Psh, psh. He's like, ah, huh? ah. Huh? Yeah, you're going to be Fonzie tonight. He's like, oh, no, more fentanyl. I don't know. Guys, uh, I don't know. And and then and then to top it all off, Ralph Mouth was black. I can't make this up. I can't make this up. I swear to Christ. He tells me and Ralph Mouth was black. Look, listen, black people, I love you to death. I want you to really understand that. But you can't be Ralph Mouth! I'm walking out, and not only am I walking out, I'm demanding my money back. And when they say to me, why do you want your money back? I'm going to say, because Ralph Mouth was black. Do you understand how ridiculous that is? That's like, hey, God, hey, come down to the restaurant. They're doing, uh, they're doing the Jeffersons tonight. Oh, yeah? Who's playing George Jefferson? Oh, Alfred E. Newman. Uh, yeah. Well, they got a guy from Sweden. He's doing George Jefferson tonight. Oh, yeah. You're going to love it. Yeah, all right. And and then Saturday night's Bill Cosby show. Who's playing Bill Cosby? I'm the whitest guy you've ever seen. Yeah. No. No. This is where I draw the line. Uh, there goes Rita. Rita can't take it. Oh, all right, guys, we're like over 40 minutes in here. We gotta get this show rolling, you know what I'm saying? Uh, maybe my knife's gone. Guys, we got a package here <sighs> from Matt, all the way from Maryland. Yes, Maryland. I've been to Maryland before, College Park, Maryland, to visit my friend in college. Yeah, we almost dragged a chainsaw across the bas the brand new basketball court in Maryland. Yeah, yeah, hundred. It would have been. It would have been. $300,000 in damages, but you know what? I I saved that from happening. So Maryland, you can thank me. The Terrapins basketball team, thank me. That we didn't have a guy drag a, a chainsaw across your, your basketball court. That's right. I, I stopped that. Even I had a conscience after I don't know how many, uh, you know, 40 ounces of beer. My my idiot light still came on, as drunk as I was. So you're welcome. Come on, yeah.
We got a note here. Note. Bithead. I've been watching your show since you were hitting the garage sales on your motorcycle. Oh yeah, well, we used to do that. My little Yamaha 5, SX500. You kidding me? There was nothing like uh, garage selling on a motorcycle. It's the most efficient way to hit the garage sales. You are limited by how much you can carry, obviously. But it's a great way to garage sale. Oh my God. I was like, uh, I was like a, 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 a sniper. It has been inspire an inspiring ride to see how far you have come. And I know it won't be long till you hit 100K. Every time I tune in, I know I'm in for a good laugh and a nostalgic stroll back through my childhood. I have an extensive video game collection and I would like to donate this wallet buster to you for 10 years of hard work and dedication. Wow. Shout a cap gun for you, my friend. P.S. Support this man on Patreon, you cheap fucks. Wow. Uh, that's from, uh, from Matt. Wow. Whew. I get nervous. Here we go. Well, you certainly used enough bubble wrap here. There's got to be like $30, $30 worth of bubble wrap. Carefully here. It must be in another box. Come on. Jesus Christ. Jeez, Matt, what do you work for? UPS? <laughs> Yes, you got me. You got me. What? <laughs> Neo Turf Masters. The, the idea that somebody would even buy a sports game, let alone a golf game, for the Neo Geo. Can you imagine you bought a Neo Geo? I can't even get it out of the case here. I'm, o I'm always overwhelmed by the size of the cartridges, by the way. Yes, you needed, you needed two rows for a golf game. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just bought my Neo Geo for about $700, and now I'm going to buy uh, a golf game. Yeah, a sports game. Well, yeah. Oh, it looks great. Anyhow, yeah, you got me, Matt. Listen, here on the Bithead 1000 show, we hate sports games, and it doesn't matter if they're for the Neo Geo or whatever. Yeah. Oh, real robust, by the way. Look at that. That's what you're paying for. Look. That's what you paid your $200 for. Great. Oh, this is interesting. I've never seen, I've never seen an instruction manual for a Neo Geo game before. So I thought it would be bigger than that. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> we got one here from I don't know, it just says UPS store. All right.
What's up, kid? To the greatest video game show in our nebula. Hope this care pa package finds you well. Two of the items in this box will hopefully help you comprehend how to create more shade from a beach umbrella that's already set. The other is to help you understand what a great burger is. I hope you got the right side. Bye bye. If not, give it to one of your brother-in-laws. Clit, Clit Westwood. <laughs> what the? Uh, best regards. <laughs> From Clit Westwood. All right. I'm in. What is this here? Oh, we got a T-shirt. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at that. In-N-Out Burger. Nice. What size is this? That's a large. It'll work. Oh, look at that. That's like old school right there. They got a GTO. What is that? A Willys? I have no idea. In-N-Out Burger. Oh, that's a cool t-shirt. This is a nice t-shirt, too. It's got weight to it. 100% pre-shrunk catton. Woo! Oh, yeah. I had in and out by the way, in Vegas. Very good. Oh, my God. Very good. It was awesome. Right after I got accosted by a black hooker. Yeah. I went out wandering. Uh, that was my favorite thing to do in Vegas. Get hammered, lose everybody, and just go wandering Vegas. And I'm in New York, New York. The casino. And I go into Cavell. They had a Cavell. I'm like, hey, Cavell. It's late night. I'm loaded. You know, I'm going to get vanilla cone, multicolored sprinkles. Oh, <sighs> I get my ice cream cone, this black hooker walks in. I mean, you, you, you listen, you understand, you don't, hookers have like amazing bodies sometimes. <laughs> I guess that helps you in that business, right? <laughs> she comes walking in and she just pushes me up against the wall by my chest. And I got my, I got my ice cream cone. And she pushes me up against the wall and gets right in my face. I mean, no space at all. You know, I'm always a little concerned about my breath. I like a little space. She gets right in my face. And she goes like this to me. She goes, baby, I'll suck the freckles right off your dick. <laughs> and I was like this. I got, I got completely I don't know, intimidated. I didn't know what to say. I said, ah, I gotta go. I'll uh, see you around. Ah, ah, ah. And like walked into the door on the way out. <sighs> Man, my God. And then, and then what am I supposed to do? Go home to my girlfriend? And I pulled down my pants and she's like, what happened to your freckles? I know. All right, moving along. We got a package here. What's in? What's inside here? The burger. Wow, this is a Ziploc bag. Oh, ah, my hands are freezing. I I, I can't open it. Doing here for crying out loud. I got Johnny Blade and I'm over here using my teeth. That's my wife. She uses her teeth to open everything. I'm like, what are you doing? <clears throat> it's ridiculous. It's big. Oh wait, if you open up the zipper part, hold on. Alright. Uh what is this? 
Whoa, Malibu Kush. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, this is premium cannabis flower. <laughs> what the hell is this? Whoa! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Hey, it's legal here in New York now. It's recreationally legal here in New York now. So there you go. <laughs> I can smell it from here. Jesus Christ! What are you kids smoking these days? Whoa. Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh. <laughs> An in and out burger sticker? Oh my god. That's fucking hilarious. What is this? Oh my god. Proper 12 Irish whiskey. Oh, baby. Woo! Oh, I could taste it from here. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Proper 12. I'm guessing that's a proper. 12 years distilled? Am I wrong? Rich and smooth. Triple distilled. <sighs> Vanilla honey and toasted wood. I'm in! Oh my god. Yeah. That's a party. Mm. This is a party. <sighs> That's for sure. Whoa. Yeah, Clip Westwood. That is a package. That is a package, my friend. <laughs> it's going to be quite a weekend. <laughs> All right, guys. Wow, thank you, Matt. Thank you, Clint. Guys, do you realize you just tuned in to the greatest video game program in the history of human civilization? And you better believe that. With the 4K vice! We'll see you next time. All right, guys, just letting you know, we are doing a fantastic program on Patreon. I'm not going to lie to you. It's fantastic. It's an advices program. And it's, I'm really enjoying doing it. Like I, I'm, when I turn on the camera, I'm like, let's go. Let's, it's, it's right off the cuff. We answer, uh, advices questions. You want advices? You come to me, I give you advices and it, it really, it really works out well. I really love doing it. And, uh, you know, you get advices like this. You got priests raping kids. I can't wait to start smoking pot. Here's the trick, guy. Yes, I'm the death. Just yes, I'm the death. I don't care if they come up to you and they say, listen, uh, I need you to piss diamonds out of your cock head. I know. Great advices. So uh, email me down below if you have a question. You want to ask a question? Just ask down below and uh, we'll, we'll solve all your problems. Just like that. It's that simple. And then you don't have any more problems. I mean, all right, guys. We'll see you next time.